Hello my dear Trekkies, welcome to another part of the Star Trek playlist. Uh, in this video we will not be taking a look at another Enterprise but a different hero ship and I would say my most favorite one, Intrepid class USS Voyager. So without further ado, let's go straight into Creo and take a look at the model. So here we are and this is the model of the Voyager. Uh, for now I will get rid of the stand and uh, we will look at the ship itself. So yeah, I had to bend the design a little bit uh, just uh, because of the, of the 3D printing technology. Uh, so there are a few changes. Uh, what I, for example, what I did is uh, I avoided the windows here on the saucer. Because of the their orientation, I did not think they would look very good. Um, as you can see, they are still here on the uh, secondary hall, though a little bit uh, different. In any case, uh, what I wanted this ship to have is uh, the ability to have the variable geometry pylons, and this I do have, so yeah, they have this hinge so they can indeed move. Yeah, that kind of makes the assembly of the Nasus a little bit more difficult, but not by much, and I would, as a matter of fact, say that this ship is the simplest one when it comes to the printing and assembling from all the ships I did so far. And uh, we will uh, see that in a second, so yeah. Once again, it's uh, divided into the saucer, secondary hull and nasals. But, as you may have seen, it's, uh, well, quite primitive actually. So, uh, we start with this half, uh, and as you can see here, we have the holes for the classic 10x10 pins. And, uh, now here, uh, we will add all the various details, so, like this. Yeah, so we have these dark pieces which will simply be inserted. Yeah, then this orange secondary saucer, uh, sorry, sorry, secondary dish. And this part of the dish which also, as you can see, serves as another mounting point for the second half. And now uh, the rest of the dark uh, details. Uh, those could be printed in one piece, uh, sorry, in one uh, one uh, G-code, uh, so yeah, that's quite a good thing. Now here, once again, we have holes for the uh, name names, so here we have the USS Voyager and its famous NCC number, and that basically means that the top half is done. So we will insert the second half, which is here, and it has corresponding holes yeah, and stuff like that. And into it, we will insert other details. So first we will have this blue piece of the dish. And as you can see here is another opening. So inside we will put the orange piece of the dish. Now here to the sides, as you can see here, we have little pegs. So there we will add the thrusters. So the thrusters have the corresponding pe uh, holes for the pegs and they can be attached without any glue. Uh, then here, as you can see on the side, we have openings for the logo, which are uh, now separated into two pieces on each side and have the standard shape of all my Star Trek ships. And uh, to these holes here, we will add another dark details, which are phaser strips and these grills. And last but not least here, the name. Uh, also, all the cassettes with the names and, uh, well, numbers have the same height, so you can print every single one of them in one go uh, together. Anyway, this is the saucer section. As you can see, we now here have these three holes. And as you guessed it, those are for the connection of the secondary hole. And the secondary hole is rather simplistic. It's consisting only of two parts. So we have only this piece, two uh, pins, 
and the second half and the two halves go together yeah like that and now as you can see here we have the hinges ready for the nacelles so for now we will get rid of the secondary hole and simply take a look at the very individual nacelles so this is one and this is two now uh, when it comes to the printing of the nacelles I hardly recommend to print it like this yeah so this surface lies on the printing pad and using organic supports uh, with this the nacelles look really good and all the functioning surfaces are there uh, with good quality and the only surface that uh, looks kind of bad is this one because uh, there are the supports but this would be covered anyway so I think it's win-win because we will add the front here and the same here thus the uh, the the surface is completely covered by the front of the nacelles anyway um, here to the opening we will add the blue piece yeah, and the same on the other side and now from the bottom part you can see it has opening for the cassettes with the name or rather the number yeah, so we will edit the number there and now here to this opening on each side we will add the red pieces representing bazaar collectors and uh, the nacelles are basically done so uh, for installing them uh, you will add them to the slots and then insert these pins from each side and they will click everything together and allow the rotation and that's it that's the Voyager as you can see it's rather simplistic but uh, yeah, if it works why not and of course yeah last but not least the stand which is the standard one with only the info updated okay so that's it about the model and now we can take a look at the print itself and here we are and the Voyager is done yeah I really really love this design and I really think that the model came out really nicely um, yeah, here the variable geometry nacelles yeah so it's up to you how you would uh, this if in warp or uh, in a normal space I personally prefer normal yeah. There is really nothing uh, that I could mention uh, that you should uh, be careful about. Uh, everything went really smoothly. Okay. Yeah. So I hope you like it. I have to say I love it and yeah we will see each other in the next video uh, on the next project have a very nice day and even nicer weekend bye bye